Hey, y'all, I'm going to sing What a Beautiful Name because this song's awesome. <clears throat> you were the word at the beginning. One with God, the Lord Most High. One with God, the Lord Most High. Your hidden glory in creation now revealed in you are Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. You didn't want heaven without us. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. Amen. My sin was great, your love was great. What could separate us now? What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. And what a beautiful person he is, Jesus. There is no one more beautiful than Jesus. There is no one more handsome or amazing or heart-stopping as Jesus. If you think about what he did for you and all that he sacrificed for you, no one will ever sacrifice for you as much as Jesus did. And that's why you should love him more than you love any other human being on the planet for real dude for real <laughs> he deserves your complete adoration and love I'll never forget that he is the king of kings and he did so much for you if you really think about it you gotta really think about it death could not hold you the veil tore before you you silence the boast of sin and grave the heavens are roaring the praise of your glory for you are raised to life again you have no rival you have no equal now and forever, God, you reign. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the glory. Yours is the name above all names. What a beautiful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Death could not hold you. The veil tore before you. You silence the boast of sin and grave. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory. For you are raised to life again. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. 
nothing compares to this. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus is the most powerful name. Do you believe it? <clears throat> Do you believe that when you say the name of Jesus, demons will flee, darkness will tremble, people will get healed? Do you really believe it? I mean, I'll be honest, sometimes I don't believe it either, but <laughs> we're supposed to. You know, that at the name of Jesus, dead people can be alive again, not just physically dead, but spiritually dead, you know, mentally dead, emotionally dead. You know, depression is definitely an emotional deadness. But do you really believe that, that at the name of Jesus, anything can be resurrected back to life? Anything can. You just have to believe. Jesus said, according to your faith, it will be done to you, you know. If you have faith... If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. And your faith is in the name of Jesus. Not in yourself or in your own healing powers. Of course, nobody has healing powers in and of themselves. We have them from God. So if you really believe that Jesus is the most powerful name ever, then you should believe that when you say his name, demons have to flee, you know? People who are possessed have to become unpo not possessed, you know? Dead things come back to life. That's the truth, y'all. Believe it. <laughs> of course, it's one thing to talk about it, but then to actually do it in person is different. But I will say I have a testimony of um, an experience I had. I think I've shared this in one, one video, but I was a, a nanny for a girl who I think literally was demon-possessed. She was only two, but her aunt was a witch. And I guess if you have like an aunt in your bloodline, it can cause even children to become possessed. She was only two. She had really light blonde hair, but like dark, dark eyes, like almost black when I met her. And I thought that was really strange. And just after watching her for two weeks, like I would play Hillsong worship music on my laptop when I was over there at her house watching her like while she was sleeping or just like anytime. And literally after two weeks, her eyes turned from like a dark brown black to like a light, light blue color. So I've seen it with my own two eyes. I didn't do any exorcism on her. I didn't even, well, I prayed for her while she was sleeping, but that's all I did. Like I didn't like, you know, do a yelling exorcism weird thing with her. All I did was pray for her and play worship music around her. And, you know, the demons left her. And so it's, it's possible. So there's my one testimony of a, of demons fleeing when the presence of Jesus is around someone. It works. Now I'm going to sing Sea of Victory by Elevation Worship. This is a really cool song. Like, really, really good. Good job, Elevation. When the weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. This falls, it won't prevail. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Cause the God I know only how to triumph. The God I know, the God I serve knows only how to triumph. My God will never fail. It's good words. My God will never fail. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. Yes, God. In my own life, I'm gonna believe that there's gonna be a victory. With my ex-husband, he's had a lot of lies spoken to him possibly by literal people but also by demons and he's been living in lies for about a year now and he's been letting himself get more and more deceived about me and about people around him that he can't trust people and it's it's been really frustrating but I'm just gonna believe that Jesus is gonna deliver him and you know that that the truth will set him free and that he'll want to see the truth you know, but I think we all have that. We all have like lies that we tell ourselves and lies that we believe. 
but the truth will set us free. For example, one lie that a lot of people tell themselves, people that smoke, I picked up smoking about two weeks ago, but uh, if you smoke like for, you know, a year or longer, it's going to give you cancer. It's inevitable. Smoking causes cancer. But everyone that I've talked to that smokes, they won't believe that, you know, they're lying to themselves and they're the, the lie that they're telling themselves is that, oh, this won't affect me. This won't hurt me. This won't kill me. But the truth will set you free. And the truth is that smoking does cause cancer. So if you don't want cancer, don't smoke, at least not for an extended period of time. <clears throat> you know, it's kind of the same as like taking medication. Like I guess medication for like a month or two could be good. But if you stay on it like your entire life, it's going to jack up your body. It's going to mess you up. And it's the same with anything that you do for an extended period of time. Like maybe you need it for a season to get you through, you know, if you're stressed out to calm you down. But if you stay on that thing, on that crutch, like forever, you know, everything has an equal and opposite reaction. And if you, if it benefits you in some way, but then you know there's side effects, like just be prepared for the side effects, you know. And if you smoke for a long time, you're going to get cancer or it's going to mess up your body in some way because it's not good for you. It's poison. You know, and the truth will set you free. And it's the same way with like junk food, sugar, sugar causes cancer. I know it would be hard to give up ice cream. I would have a hard time with that. But, you know, you just got to see the truth and the truth will set you free. Sugar causes diabetes. Sugar causes cancer. Like, you need to stay away from sugar. I know it's hard. <laughs> I mainly eat like chicken salads now or, or like fish salads. Um, and I'm trying to stay away from sugar with the exception of ice cream sometimes. But, you know, people need to see the truth. You know, you're not going to get better until you see it. You know, and Jesus said to that man at the pool, do you want to get well? You know, a lot of people don't want to get well. Like they want to get sick, you know, like that song by Billy Joel, only the good die young. That's a very popular uh, saying that Satan likes to tell people. But the truth is that, you know, God wants you to have a long life and enjoy your life and to have an abundant life. And why does God want to keep you alive for so long so you can serve him, you know? Like, it's selfish of us. Anyone who doesn't want to have a long life, that's selfish because that's less time that you can be alive serving God. So think about that. <sighs> anyways I pray this video bless you all I pray you learned something the truth shall set you free tell yourself the truth about whatever it is that you're doing to comfort yourself realize that there might be consequences for whatever your comfort is and you know we should find comfort in Jesus alone I know sometimes that's hard but we should <laughs> so God loves you all. Have a great day. God bless. Bye.